Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we go down into the erector. The erector spinae, the more superior aspect, is going to also have an impact on the head and the cervical spine. But the erector runs all the way down the most medial uh, erector muscle on either side of the spine. Again, we have pairs of these guys. It's not just one big muscle. It's individual lengths of muscle paired on either side. So to feel the, the spinalis, what I like to do is she's got really nice spinous processes. Good job. All right. So I like to find the spinous process and then kind of wiggle my way over or just gently palpate over until I'm on the other side of the valley, all right, between the notch, between the spinous and the transverse process. So I'm going to feel, I'm actually gonna palpate, can I come up under here? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna palpate a little bit lower so that I can feel the majority of those muscle fibers working. I'm gonna ask you to put your hands over your head like Superman, and then I want you to try to lift your shoulders up off the table, there we go and relax, okay? So that's spinalis. For the longissimus, I'm gonna have, have her put her arms out to the side, and I'm gonna move just a little bit lateral. If I want to know if I'm isolating, I can keep one hand on the spinalis and move the other one more lateral to the longissimus. And again, I want you to try to lift your shoulders up. Nice. And with some males particularly, I find can build the erectors and define them more than females. Um, you really literally can see the different muscle bellies when they do this, when they place their arms in, in the opposite direction. Now for the iliocostalis, I need to go more lateral and a little more superior. So I'm up under here. I'm not gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna be up here a little bit more and more lateral. So now you're gonna put your arms even further to your side, yep, and try to lift up again. And you can feel the um, iliocostalis become a little more active than the others. And again, if you wanna know if you're truly differentiating, keep one hand on the longissimus and put the other one on the iliocostalis. Have her do that again, and yeah, I feel much more activity under my right hand than I do my left. They're all still working, but I'm isolating the one does that make sense? Okay, we didn't talk about the QL. Did we talk about? Okay, we did. Okay, so you can ask your patient to isolate that lying down. You can also ask them if you pull that one to do that standing if it's safe and they can do that. All right. We need them to be able to do that in standing eventually because we need them to help stabilize the pelvis so they can clear the floor with their lower extremity when they're walking, okay? All right, I'm gonna ask you to roll, to scoot to your uh, right a little bit.